Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a creative journaling session. I haven't done one of these for a while. I've been going through a bit of a weird headspace, haven't really felt like being creative. I've done my videos for Patreon, but that seems to be as far as my creativity goes each month. Um, I've also been doing a lot of designing for shop stuff. So yeah, in terms of videos and like sitting down to journal, I just haven't really felt like it. But I was really excited for this when it arrived in the post. This is the June Lollipop Box Club kit and I was a part of it. So I've got a collage sheet in here. I've seen bits and pieces of this box because Lisa sends me a bit of inspiration. So I have a bit of an idea when it comes to designing the collage sheets. This will be the first time that I see it all. So I thought I'd do a kind of mini unboxing and a journaling session using the box. I've picked out a few photos which are kind of outsidey photos. There isn't very much green in these photos, but they're various photos from different days in 2019 where I went on walks. There's a little fossil that I found, little scenery photos, one of a little frog and Bonnie's nose, and then just Bonnie chilling with me um, after a walk. So I've got a few outsidey photos because the theme of this month's box is bucket list, so it's quite outdoorsy. And I'm hoping that means that there'll be things in here that kind of go with these photos pretty well. I have been sent this box for free, so this video will be marked as an ad. But as I'm sure many of you know, I've worked with Lisa many times before. I love what she does. Always, always happy to share her stuff on my channel because I, I just love it. I love that she puts these kits together. They're always so well done. I'll have links and everything down below if you want to grab yourself a box. She puts together a little zine, so that kind of tells you a bit more about the kit and what's in here and who's designed things. I'm not going to go through all of this in super detail because obviously I want to get on with the journaling session, but hopefully I'll be able to give you a good overview of what you get in the kit. First up, there's some phrase stickers, which are done by Mrs. Brimbles. Always love a phrase sticker. I use these things so much. This is a little treat bag, which kind of has loads of little bits and pieces in here. This is some little corner stickers. Uh, some heart stickers, some tags. We have this little bag that I think has some more die cuts in, all kind of travel themed. These are really cute. There's then some little circle stickers. There's a lollipop because she always includes some sort of sweet in them because it is a lollipop box club box <laughs> so wouldn't be complete without a lolly we have some stickers they're so cute this little caravan as well i know anna loves her camping and everything outdoorsy so i'm sure she really enjoyed designing these ones this is the collage sheet that i designed so we've got some cameras there's some little mountains there's a little wave i wanted to try and paint a backpack that was kind of like outdoorsy looking but i didn't want to just use a load of browns because i know the color scheme for this box it was quite light colors so i tried to lighten it and it was just i don't know it was a bit tedious but i was happy with the outcome. As last of all we have some papers and some card I think. Yeah we've got some different papers in here. Oh I love that one. <laughs> we've got a little cloud one. There's this one with the sun's on. I love as well that she uses lots of little um, paper bags and stuff so you could always cut things out of here as well. I love that so much is usable in this box. So yeah those were all of the things that were in this month's box. Lots and lots of bits and pieces. Um, I am gonna do my best to just use the things in this box in my journaling spread. Um, I might have to grab a few washi tapes off my shelf. I don't know. So I'm gonna get started with the journaling session and I'll speak to you again at the end of the video.
that is my page finished. I managed to fit all of the photos on, which I'm kind of chuffed about. I didn't really want to leave any out because they all kind of go together and it would, it would just be an odd photo on another page. So I ended up adding the little pocket to the page and putting one of the tags in it. Um, that way I could fit two of the photos on there and I can obviously write on the back of it and then the other three photos are here And really I could have added one more if I wanted to because there's space there as well But yeah, I used everything from the box. The only things that weren't from the box were my washi tape I used the frame from the collage sheet I designed and cut out the middle so I could put that around a photo um, These little corner stickers I love them. I need to get some more because I think that's going to be something I end up using quite a lot. I love how it looks. I added the fossil photo here and two little phrases that says, so happy I found this. Up the top I have a photo of a lake that was overflowing and I added unplanned splash. And then down the bottom I have a cloudy sunny day photo. I've added the little mountain image from the collage sheet and a phrase sticker that says today's outing. And then I've added the dates on all of these photos. So they're all from different days, um, but they're all from October, um, just from different walks. So I added them all together on a page. But I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together. As I said at the beginning, I will have a link below to where you can buy this kit if there is any left. But if not, you can subscribe to the box to make sure that you don't miss out on any future ones. Thank you all so much for watching and a big thank you to my patrons. If you're on any of the tiers, then your name will be on the screen now. But yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.